morning. Good morning. Yeah, it was a little tight <laughs> getting here this morning. <laughs> Do the young people want to come and take a little seat up here? It's just right there. Hello, hello. I've got like the dark clothes here, and then we go under the pink. You're all very color coordinated. <laughs> How well do you think you know my voice? Pretty good. You think you know my voice pretty well? Do you think if your eyes were closed and I was talking, you would know that it was me speaking? Yeah. Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> so what you're going to have to do is, not yet, but whenever I tell you to, you're going to close your eyes and you're going to hear four different voices saying a sentence. After the fourth voice, you will open your eyes and tell me which voice you think was mine. The first, the second, the third, or the fourth. Does that make sense? Now I have to apologize because I uh, didn't quite get here on time. The three people I'm going to ask have not been pre-warned. <laughs> But it's a very easy phrase that I'll ask you to say. <laughs> so, you're going to close your eyes. Now, you can't turn around. If you do, the camera will pick you up. All right, so let me, let me go around here. So, you close your eyes, and four, you're going to hear four voices saying the phrase. His sheep will follow him because they know his voice. His sheep follow him because they know his voice. His sheep follow him because they know his voice. His, his sheep follow him because they know his voice. Okay, open your eyes. <laughs> Right, hands up if you thought it was the first one. No. Now, who, do you know who the first one was? My mom. Was it your mom? Was it? <laughs> Mommy, was it you? Oh, it was. Hands up if you think it was the third one. What about the fourth one? What about the second one? Okay. So obvious, was it? Were they right? Was it the second one? Well done. Well done. Today's Bible passage is about how sheep trust their shepherd because they know his voice. Who do you think the shepherd symbolizes in a Bible story? Mm. I'll give you a clue. It begins with J. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Well done. Who then do you think sheep might symbolize? Yeah, and by disciples, that actually means all Christians. Well done. And as I read the passage during the week, it struck me that it isn't just a passage about knowing the voice of Jesus. It's about knowing, knowing the voice of Jesus so well that we follow him wherever he leads us. So verses 3 and 4, this is of John 10, say, The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. As Christians, it would be easy to stay in the pen in our comfort zone. We know God loves us. We know that he cares for us, and we know that he knows us. But then in verse 16, Jesus says, I have other sheep that are not of this pen. I must bring them also. Think of how amazing it is to know that you are friends with Jesus. How much joy and comfort and hope it brings you. Well, there are lots of people who don't yet have that joy or comfort or hope that we do. And Jesus wants us to reach out to them. He wants us to share our faith and to show them God's love. 
That means following Jesus into situations we wouldn't necessarily choose to go to ourselves. But you know what? We're not walking those situ- in those situations by ourselves. Jesus leads us to the lost sheep and he is there with us as we share our faith. We just need to trust him and be open to the directions that he is going to take us in. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you know each of us. Thank you that we can know the voice of Jesus. Thank you for his love, which is like that of a shepherd looking after his sheep. Help us to know the voice of Jesus so well that we will follow him wherever he leads us. Help us to be willing to go with him to find the sheep not yet in the pen. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. So you can go back.